Okay, well, we got this compressor here, and I made a video of it before, of it running and stuff. But I realize there's people on my YouTube that haven't really seen the inside of one of these. So, just for my uh, viewers, I'm going to take this apart a little bit further and kind of show you how these things work. First thing we're going to do is uh, take this cover off here. I think there's a relay in here or something, or a capacitor. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Yeah, there's the start relay. And just for coolness, we're going to... Actually, i got to set this camera up right. Just for the fun of it, we're going to plug it in. Just to see if it does anything that we can see here. That's interesting. Now when I plug it in, it doesn't want to spin up. Yep, and then this thing uh, trips. That's weird. Maybe because I didn't, maybe because I uh, drained all the oil out of it. Well, anyway, let's skip that step. You hear this thing click on, click back on in a minute. Uh, this thing is supported down here by some suspension springs. It's just kind of floating on them. But I'm going to try to get this out, and i got to cut this line here. These lines are all uh, suspended, you know, so it can vibrate. So let's try to get it out now. And here it is in the flesh. Here's uh, the pump. Just a little uh, piston pump right here. Meow! Oh, hold on. We got a visitor. Hello. Meow. Come on in. Nope, she doesn't want to stay in. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, now one of these is the uh, input, you know, like the suction. Uh, Aussie Fifty knows all the all the uh, details. Uh, one of these is the output. Uh, Exhaust, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here's where the cylinder head is. And there's some kind of discharge thing here that goes nowhere. Oh, sorry. This seems to go nowhere. And this was coming out of here. And it was hooked into this. And here's the bottom of the compressor. See, it just sits on these springs here. The only thing holding it in was the electrical connector. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. Here's the motor. And can't power it up, of course, when it's out here because uh, I don't have it hooked up to the electrical. But here's that's kind of how it works, just like that. Just like that. And I think this tube here. It sits down in the oil, and when this thing runs, when it's under pressure, it squirts the oil up out of here, and it kind of goes all inside here and mixes all around and makes it nice and lubricated. So that's kind of interesting, and that's uh, how these things are. And you see, here's the uh, this is a split phase motor or a um, forgot the word for it, but uh, start windings are here. And the run windings are these big ones. And what it does is this relay controls. Uh, <clears throat> so you don't want to keep these start windings energized because if you do, they'll burn up. So the job of this relay is to uh, cut those windings out so the run windings can keep this thing running. So that's kind of interesting. If you want to learn more about that, just look up how induction motors work. But yeah. If you ever want to know what's inside of one of these things, that's it. It's pretty cool. I cut one of these things open with a hacksaw years ago. It took me forever. I mean, literally, it took me like two or three days to go all the way around this with a hacksaw. Of course, I got better tools for that now. I got a uh, angle grinder, so it's a little bit quicker, 
little bit messier, but a little bit quicker because you see how you got all the metal filings down in there, but a lot quicker. So anyway, I hope this was uh, educational for you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.